on a motherfucking stick, son! Woo! We're gonna talk about video games! Yay! I love video games! What video games did you just play? I played Chain Fucker 10! <laughs> That's sexy. The Revenge of Chain Fucker! <laughs> you look really sexy over there, Chainsaw! Oh yeah? <laughs> rawr, rawr. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is... This, right, we we yeah, apologize for that intro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Yoko-chan! Yoko-chan... Oh. Ah, oh, yeah. No, it's really us. We just yep. wanted to bring out some oldies, but... <gasps> speaking of oldies but goodies, what? we have a third guest that you guys haven't oh, seen for shit. a while on the final episode. Oh, you... shit! What is up with the new two fucking white in a box? I, I don't believe it, dude. You actually went like this. I did. Is, this is the old school shit. This is the old school Bota oh, box. Oh, yeah, like, those baby. Those of you that were watching... Way back in the day, this was uh, the only ghetto shit that we would drink. The, w- the wine <laughs> that comes out of the box with bubbles. It's got. It's the only it's got wine. A head. The wine. The only wine that will give you head. That's right. Boda box. Ching. It gets you drunk. Oh yeah. Mm. All right. This is episode two hundred thirty-one. Welcome back for our shit. Our final episode, man. That's it. Final, final sub- regularly scheduled episode. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, and I am Yuzo Watanabe. And I am Tobin Kozire. Uh, and this week we are talking about, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Ellie Noir. What? Terraria, mm-hmm. Witcher 2, and Chrono Trigger. Actually, I thought there was another one. Uh, no. no that's I did it. not play, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, no Kill Zone 3. Yeah. Sorry, you guys are screwed. I, this, I was, play, yeah, I this, was, this was a rough week. We're trying to squeeze everything in at the last minute. <laughs> yes, our new releases include a bunch of stuff that we're actually going out past the month, because there yeah. ain't shit going out next week. Uh, but we got Hunted, The Demon Forge, Infamous 2, Duke Nukem Forever, finally. Maybe. Ma- maybe. Maybe. Uh, Child of Eden and Alice Madness Returns. Yes. Um, but, dude, like... Wow. Like, so, let's get started. Let's get started. The final ding. Ding. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. Oh, oh, it tastes so good. It's actually really good. I don't know, I know. why we went away. Why did we, why did we abandon the box? I, have, I think it's because you had like 50 bottles that we had to go through eventually. I think you're right. I think you're right. Um, and, and we then, actually had like the wine-loving friends that were just like, for your podcast, why don't you drink this delicious, high-quality wine? $50 bottle. Right? And they would be like, why are you drinking that box wine, box wine <laughs> shit? We're like, don't judge me, bitch. <laughs> It gets you drunk just as easily. It really does. It really does. Um, I was, I was I, glad that we were I, able to drag out the chainsaw on a stick. I know, though. dude. I, I'm a little worried about it. Is that going to like lean over and, That's all good. and decapitate What could you? possibly go wrong with okay. the chainsaw on a stick leaning on a wall? Against yeah, me? there's never any earthquakes in San Francisco. Uh, so, California. Um, should we bring out um, Envious' mom? Uh, yeah. You well, want to wait? Special guest. Special, well, she's right. busy. In- <laughs> <laughs> Envious' mom has blown some dudes. Yes. But uh, she, she may be coming out later. Taking care of yeah. him. Yes. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we're actually going to do a regular episode, but we yep. have a bunch of stuff planned uh, later to talk about, you know, just overall final episode. Right. Uh, but first game up is what? L.A. Noir. L.A. Noir, dude. Rockstar. I, oh, shit, I was so excited about that. I mean, I am, I'm so excited about this game. Like, what? really. Are you spoiling your your uh, your review <laughs> no. early? No. No, it was, it was, I, I was really excited, because mm. basically you look at all of the videos that were coming out, it was all about showing the facial animation, yeah. how realistic it was going to be, the voice acting was fantastic. Yes, it is. Um, voice acting is oh, yeah. fantastic. Oh, yeah. Um, so, it, it is, it is very much a, uh, a movie caliber, like, triple A uh, movie. <laughs> movie, movie-esque. Movie-esque, it is, it is a movie that had a game theoretically planned inside of it at one point. Yeah, there, there's some game elements to this movie. Yeah, occasional I, I game elements. Is um, it, it choose-your-own-adventure <laughs> movie? Well, I like to think you take it like, okay, you take Phoenix Wright, yeah. uh, Ace Attorney, and then you make it into a movie. That's, that's kind yeah. of what, even though they're actually doing it. Uh, did you hear uh, Takeshi Miyake? Or whatever? Bitekeshi? Yeah. He's oh. directing the Ace Attorney movie. Oh! Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> I don't recall that much Beat violence. Takeshi. No, yeah, that's that's uh, strange. Like he doesn't do that kind of moving. But uh, yeah, so but um, that's kind of how this game is. It, it really feels like because you really have a lot of these elements of point and click adventures. I would you say know? I would say that Phoenix Wright is actually more complex. 
than than this game. Like How so? In, in terms of in terms of actually making the items interact, like because I mean, in, in this one, it'll yeah, just, yeah, it'll, I mean, the clues will seriously be like you'll find a check for twenty thousand dollars, and then someone will be like, I didn't get a check for twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> and you'd be like, and then you're like, why? <laughs> What would you? What item would you like to pick to dispute that? You're just like, well, maybe the twenty thousand dollar check. <laughs> but sometimes they'll give you twenty items, and you're yeah. really not sure if it's the plunger, right, or the bloody knife, the candlestick, or the, <laughs> the so, revolver. Yeah. So the um, game the game breaks down into a couple discrete parts. There yep. is the uh, uh, let me let me. <laughs> so there's the open world driving. Uh, uh, yeah. that has no consequences. No, to get from one. Pl- oh, there's the consequences. You lose money. Oh, that's true. Um, right. Which affects your experience points. Right. Which then affects the number of intuition points you get. Right. And intuition points are useful for revealing clues so you can do better in conversations. And get more experience points. And get more experience points. And get more points, intuition points. And get more intuition points. But, um, and if the conversations, if you fail yeah. every question in the conversation, the penalty is that the plot then continues. And you don't get any intuition points. You don't get any intuition points, but you still continue on as if you had done everything right. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So I think you, the only ways you can fail missions, from what I can tell, yeah. uh, is to shoot hostages by yes. accident. Right. Um, I, I don't know if killing enough people. I've killed a few people while yeah. driving, and it, they, it, didn't, it said, don't kill anybody else. Right. right? But it, I don't think it yeah, It reminded, me of, it reminded right? me of Assassin's Creed. When like, because like the first thing I did when I started playing Assassin's Creed was just stabbing the shit out of pickpockets. Like there's come up like fuck you, and then just like Ezio did not kill innocent people. I'm like, well, I I beg to disagree because I stabbed the shit out of that dude for picking my pocket. That's right, yeah. But I mean, this is the same thing where it's like you hit somebody with a car, and they're like, no. don't hit people with your car. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> but but does any have you have you killed more than one person? I'm really curious if it's I've, just like I've, I've, been, I've been racing and like bumped into a bunch of people, smashed cars, yeah. and killed people, and they're just like, wah, wah, wah. wow, that's. It's yeah. interesting. Um, yeah, because it's weird, because like, I think they really this made will be them. a repeating pattern in the review of this game <laughs> that things don't seem to matter much in El Noir. No, but the journey is really beautiful, mm. i got to say, right? Like, every putty you talk to, the, the voice acting is so amazing. Phenomenal. It's like they got every B actor out there yes. uh, to, to do it. Like, no, like you look at it, like, I've seen him in Homicide, or I saw him yeah. in, like... I kept something. recognizing, like, hot girls that I'd seen do parts in TV shows. I kept right. recognizing people from, like, Mad Men, the main guys from Mad Men. Did they also get Peggy from Mad Men? Is she, isn't she I didn't see it? Peggy. I thought I saw her, so it looked really just like her. Oh, come. So. Um, so, so basically what ends up happening is that the first several hours of the game, I was really, really enjoying myself yeah. because I was just like, oh my God, the storytelling and the noir and, and the music and oh, the, the atmosphere, and like, whatever. And then, and then yeah. I started to notice little things where I'm just like, mm. okay, every crime scene I go to, there's a million bullshit little things. Mm-hmm. And, and he'll just walk over and you can't see what's on the countertop. There'll just be a countertop and it's yeah. like, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. You push the button and he picks up like a, a half smoked cigarette and he's like, hey, dipshit, not everything's important. <laughs> Like, but I didn't know that. In, yeah. Like, you're not. You, giving, you played the clue song. I mean, like, what else am yeah. I gonna do? Am I gonna ignore it because I see a fucking rolling pin? Because right. sometimes you see something totally innocuous and you be like, do do do, and you yeah. pick it up and you're like, hmm, blood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> blood and like somebody's business card. <laughs> you're like, oh. it's like, it's like in the back and pen is like, oh god, I killed him. <laughs> and like oh. GD, and you're like, hmm. Oh. You know, it's like, yeah, okay. Course. So, um, so you have to at every yep. scene, of every crime, you have to pick up every item. Ninety percent of the time, he's just like, "Hey, numb nuts, the book of matches doesn't matter. Yeah. Who cares about this kitchen fork?" Yeah. And then, and, and like not only that, like and they hold, they have this whole thing where like music is playing or whatever. Yeah. There's some sort of signal where after you find all the clues, you have you, you're done. You're mm-hmm. stopping for your cues, so you know when you're done. So right. what I'm doing is I'm spending fifteen minutes or ten minutes wandering around the same things, making sure I didn't miss a do do do. Yeah, and you could do it with your eyes closed. Because the controller vibrates. <laughs> yes, that too. So part, uh, part A of every, of every mission is yes. wander around until the controller vibrates until it stops playing music. <laughs> that is the difficulty that level. Is, that's right, yeah. That is, that is the challenge. So uh, then you have all the clues, mm-hmm. and then, uh, then you'll talk to people. And that yeah. is the only part of the game that has any game to it. Game, right? Game. We're talking... We're talking you can do, do... Every time... It's basically a conversation tree, right? Yeah. You, go, you go back, and you can doubt... Yep. You can say they're telling the truth, or yep. you can lie. Yep. Doubt and lie are a little weird to me. I'm still have right because I'm yes. looking like they'll say something and I'll be like, oh, let me look at my inventory. Did they lie? And I'm looking. I'm like, that could be. Well, that could be. But you're not certain, so I do doubt. And it's like, well, you should have picked this, or vice versa, right? Yes. And and that that is one of my so 
here's the thing that bothers me is that the voice acting is phenomenal. The dialogue is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. That interaction scheme is flawed. Yeah. Because you'll go up and you'll meet somebody and it'll be like one line into the conversation. They're like, hey, what happened here? And the person will like look to the side (laughs) and just be like, I don't remember. And I'm like, oh, they're acting dodgy on hit doubt. And it's like fucking wrong. Yeah, and it's because like, it's bong, lie. Bong. Yeah, and it'll be like lie, or it'll be truth, where they're just like, really? you know, like, oh, she, <laughs> she couldn't really remember. I'm like, well, then why are you looking down and acting shady? <laughs> well, you have to be able to tell the psychology because they have all that facial animation yeah. and jittery eyes, and yeah, I just, it, I'm I, batting about fifty percent. I'm getting about fifty percent. I'm, I'm batting about fifty percent because most of the time it's the difference between lie and doubt, mm-hmm. and I don't get the fact that they're lying, and, and like not all the time. It's like, well, I didn't get a check, and there isn't twenty thousand check. It's just like I didn't get a check, and there's like. A golf ball. Right. right. Or a pen. <laughs> or a pen. And like, like, well, then how did you sign the check? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly you found it. a pen. And I'm like, really? And, yeah. I'm, and so apparently what people are doing in the game, I've been reading like on Reddit and a couple other places, they're like, this is what I do when I fuck up mission. And you hit restart. The, hey, restart the, restart yeah. the whole game. So, Which reminds me of like when I played Leisure Suit Larry, <laughs> yeah. and it would just be like, who was President Nixon's vice president? And you're like... George Bush. It's like wrong. Like, well, I write that down. It wasn't George Bush. No, let's try the other one. Eventually, I will have all the answers. That's right. Not a game so much as a process of elimination. Yes. Um, So yeah, and that's I think one of the fatal flaws with this game. You could tell that I think Rockstar was thinking in their in their their head that you know we got to make games easier. We got to you know go with this whole social casual bullshit. We'll spend all of our time and effort on making it look really pretty. Yes. But and I mean they innovated the shit out of it. It was oh just my like God, yeah. you know it's, nobody has ever done uh, animation capture like this yeah. before. The world is is very fleshed out. Yeah. But the problem is is that every piece of it mm-hmm. has been done better by someone else. Like yep. they're I mean by themselves. I mean like if you look at the the, the driving around open world part, mm-hmm. um, you know Grand Theft Auto did that so much better. Well, there's Where so it's many like things picking to up do. missions in yeah. the middle, stuff to do. Mm-hmm. This is a Dead ass empty town with one point of interest to go to yep. and one possible other point of picking up a mission in progress yeah. that's just like and it's kind of like a list of missions, right? Yeah. So you just drive in almost invariably, right? Like, oh, let's go to this guy's house. Okay, two seconds later, it's like you robber here. I'm like, yeah. okay, and I do the robber, and I'm like, okay, and I Did, go wait, back. No, no, describe what doing the robber is. <laughs> okay, the, the robber thing is the pissing <laughs> so much because this whole thing where it's like you got to drive to the robber and it's usually way across town. Yep. I get to the robber, it's like okay, so and so's holding up a pawn shop, and I'm like okay, I run around the corner, run around, run around the back of the alley, open the door. Open another door. Oh, I see two guys. Oh, bam, bam. I kill them because really the combat is dead, dead easy, easy yeah. right? And then I go up top and I'm like, okay, this guy's like, hold on, hold on, right? And I'm like, okay, hold on. He's like, you got to subdue him. You can't move. All you can do is shoot. Right. And I'm, it's basically like, I, I can't, it's like playing whack-a-mole. one. Whack a mole. Whack a mole. exactly what it is. <laughs> I'm like, okay. And then basically you have to wait for their head to pop out and pop their head. Yep. And then you can kill them. Yep. But I failed three times. Okay, because it's, it's pretty much random as far as I can tell. There's yeah. very little skill set. And I play a fucking lot of first shooters, right? Yeah. Uh, and then what they do is they start you driving again. Yeah. And it happened three times, and I'm like, and, and, and we're going to talk about this other game. I kept on looking at this other game. I'm like, I could be playing this game, yeah. which is really old. Yeah. So. Or, or there will be a chase mission where it's just like, okay, God. well, let's run after this dude <laughs> with zero difficulty again yeah. like there was Hold not the a button. minute of this game that i felt challenged like oh. it was either it was either bored or frustrated <laughs> or or watching a great movie yeah or watching a fantastic movie and that's yeah. and that's that's i mean i know we're being super negative because it's not a good game <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't spend 60 dollars on right it. but it, it's um. just like there were there were times when i'm just like i am not going to think of this as a game i'm going to sit back I'm going to wow. passively consume it as yeah. if I would be consuming an episode of Mad Men or something. Yeah. And I, I could get into the flow uh-huh. at that point where I'm just like, oh, okay, aha. Uh-huh. But it, it didn't last. It, wasn't like, it, would like, it would be like I'd play for an hour and then I'd put it down and do something else. It wasn't yeah. like a game where it gets its hooks in me mm-hmm. and I'd look down and it's four in the morning and I'm just like, what happens next? You yeah. know? Well, you don't care about that because really it doesn't feel like, like this guy's arc, character arc is going. It's like mission, mystery. Fight somebody, right? right? It's like this guy isn't changing. I think that's probably one of the biggest problems of the game. Yeah. Where you have Red Dead uh, Redemption, which we really, you know, we liked. You know, we felt it was a much better game. But he changes. People he yeah. reacts to changes. This one's just like, oh, I go from homis- you know, from traffic desk to the other desk. Right. Like, we. And and there's no and the, the thing with no consequences is really really oh, what just drilled it into me know. because I need I need <laughs> I need one of these things, right? I need like puzzle solving. There is none. I need a challenge. There is none. I need 
a, a, a sense of, of, of your actions mattering. Yep. There is none. I mean, like, you compare it, like, when I was saying other games did this stuff better, I mean, you, uh, look at Heavy Rain. Mm-hmm. Heavy Rain is such a, I mean, Heavy Rain Actually, was yeah. a noir, yeah. mystery, thriller game. It's pretty much a movie. And it's like, phenomenal! Yeah! And it was just like, <laughs> if you fucked up, if you're the, the, the I just always remember that I was that girl and that her apartment uh-huh. caught fire. Yes. <laughs> And I was like, I was like, oh, this is weird. This apartment's really on fire, man. I hope I don't fuck up. And it's like she fell over. She fell over, and it's just like storyline over. Yeah, you're like fucking dead. Yeah, and then you could keep playing the game, and yeah. you will get a totally different ending. She's dead forever. Yeah, and it's like, and and when that happened to me, then all of a sudden it was just like my heart like jumped out. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> everything matters. Like yeah. I have to, I can't die. I can't let bad stuff happen. And you know. <sighs> That that is that is the feeling I want in a game, and, and this is, it doesn't exist. Like you just imagine, like there's got to be something where there's got to be this sort of metric where you're as you go through the game, you know that if you fail that mission, you're not going to get something. Right. Like I'm hoping I'm hoping that that they've designed the game where if you fail every single fucking mission, yeah, you're stuck in traffic. Like you you don't get to finish the game and solve the game. It's just like now you're a beat cop on the corner. You're just like, <laughs> you're like and eating some donuts. And, like God. Damn it! I could have been a detective. <laughs> yeah. If only I'd been able to read what people were thinking. <laughs> if only I'd said doubt instead of truth. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, so that's what kind of I'm hoping, and it's like th- this game. You can obviously it's not designed to be that way. It's designed to be an interactive experience, experience. and yeah. it's like we're not, we're gamers. Yeah, that's, we don't want that's that. exactly right. I, I mean, it, it, it's the it's the it's the uh, it's the we fit. Video games. Like, I liked Wii Fit, at least from a gaming perspective, because you can see your weight go down. It's yeah. like this this consequence. You you see your flab, your little fucking you know. Your, your yes, but I need an analogy. Right. It's the soap opera of video games. I don't know. It's there just it's, it's it's pure consumption. It's yeah. pure consumption. No no challenge. No problem solving. No game. Like no very game. little game. That's and exactly right. The thing is, I think people that really get excited about uh, graphics and all that, I think this is actually going to sell really well. Yeah, I think there's gonna be a ton of people out there that have a PS3 for a Blu-ray player. They're like, oh, I heard about this shit. <laughs> thing, right? It's, that guy from Mad Men was in right. it, right? And they're gonna play it. They're like, whoa, this is video games. Yeah, and it's not. They're like, wow, this is really easy. <laughs> like, this is fantastic. I am. Per- I, like, things are happening. Look yeah. at all. Like, he's solving crimes. Like, yeah. all this shit. I'm doing this. I, this it's is me <laughs> making this world amazing. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It's just like I'm driving and I'm getting there, even right. though like <laughs> I, I haven't died this whole game. <laughs> this is fantastic. Did you take the same person, put him in like Red Dead Redemption or yeah. GTA? They're like, my car blew up, yeah. <laughs> or fuck I this. got shot. Yeah. yeah and fuck, fuck it. I'm never playing this again. That's this is smart. why I haven't played anything since Pong. Yes. Yeah. So um, on on one end, I, I kind of like the idea of them like getting other people, but for gamers, like stay the hell away. I honestly. Yeah, it um, it is it is uh ugh. it's not good. It it really it is, is not a good game. It's yeah. a it's a very interesting choose your own adventure. Like yeah. I'd almost say like rent it as a movie, don't buy it as a game. <laughs> like I don't even know that's a that's a weird one. Actually, I, I would say uh if you are uh the, you know, like uh, a significant other of a gamer, yeah. get them to play this game and watch while you're on the couch. Cuz it's pretty Wait, right? if you're a significant other of a gamer? Yeah, get it for them. But why would they want to play it? Whatever, just it doesn't really matter, right? It's like you want you want to watch a good movie, yeah. like watch somebody play this game. It's that's true. More yeah, that's true. Cuz so if you're if you're playing. a girl that likes noir films, <laughs> yes. Tell your boyfriend that you will sit there naked as long as he plays this game. Mm-hmm. Entertainment for both of you. He'll do, he doesn't have to watch the screen to play. This is Pretty easy. Much. So oh, he gets buzz. movies. You get noir film. I mean, this is like the triangle that's, of happy. Dude, right that's here. Genius. Everybody wins. That's Everybody genius. wins. Yeah, but make sure you get him a sandwich. Yeah, that's true. Very important. See, when it comes to boobies, yeah. there are no losers. <laughs> Everyone wins just, when it comes just, to boobies. Just dignity sometimes, <laughs> depends, <laughs> depending on when you Not show that. my dignity. <laughs> this is all coming that's from true. my point of view. That's right, like, yeah. My dignity is unfazed whenever boobies Actually, are around. My dignity's increased. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel fantastic about myself when, when girls show just, their boobies exactly. and cry. Daddy so. issues. <laughs> um, what were we saying? So, yeah, Eleanor, boop. Damn. I know. Damn. I was really excited, too, because this yeah. is the only fucking game this month, pretty yeah. much, right? Yeah. I was I was shocked. Um, yes. So the next game up has gotten a lot of buzz. Yes. Uh, it's called Terraria. Yeah. Terraria? Terraria. Terraria. Um, it, how would you describe it? I would describe it as... Gosh, I don't even know, like Metroid Minecraft or something. Yeah, pretty much. It's yeah. like a 2D Minecraft for the most part. Um, so I think I played. You know, I think you saw like some videos. I mean, you didn't actually play it. I played. So one of my one of my uh, one of my coworkers has it. Oh, cool. And I got okay. I got. So I mean, I, I I've played a little bit of it, um, but yeah. not 
not enough to give it a full review. Like, I, I get it. <laughs> yeah, you can get it really fast, yeah. actually. Um, so if you played Minecraft, this is pretty much... Crack. The same game. It's, yeah. it's the same game. I mean, yeah. you to the level of... You you chop down wood. You make a workbench. Use yeah. the workbench to make other shit. You chop stone. It's unapologetically uh, <laughs> derivative. They stole everything. Yes. Now on, on the plus side, they actually since it's two D, they did spend a lot more time on the monsters. So you yeah. don't have like four monsters. Right. You get boss characters. You get they a lot added of more game. They yeah. have a lot more game. Um. And 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 that's interesting you say that because I think that's my main complaint about this. Yeah. Uh, and, and a little bit about Minecraft too because Minecraft was really awesome in terms of a building and overall experience. But even Minecraft after about two weeks, um. It lacks game, right? Right. There, there isn't the the gamey elements of like, okay, um, build your character up with strength and all this stuff. It's all inherent in your gear. Yes, uh, and and it, I mean, Minecraft is all about creation. Yes, it is. It is about nothing but that. You know, like even if you're doing creation to protect yourself from monsters or something, mm-hmm. it is still that game is creation. Yeah, and it, for me, it wasn't all about like I, I didn't like the creation stuff as, aspect at all. I'm not mm-hmm. a builder. That's not my style of gameplay. Yeah. I'm all about, oh man, diamond pick. Where's the diamonds? Where's yeah. the diamonds, right? And I'd play, and seriously, I, you should see the network of tunnels I would make, and I would calculate the exact number of squares apart wow. on how to build my tunnel, like while well, I read all the forums and shit. Of course. Um, and then, you know, I get the diamond pick, but once I got the diamond pick, I'm like... You're like, I won. Uh, yeah, I won. I've yeah, won the game. There, there's nothing after the diamond pick. Right, break, yeah. Right? So then that's that's pretty much my, my interest was like, boom, went, went totally away. And, and this one, you know, they do add a, a little few elements in between here and there, but it's still the same problem. Right. Where um, since it's so randomly generated, so, <clears throat> you know, open world, that they can't uh, pace the game where you're getting cool shit often enough. Yeah. Like, that's one of the things we like about, like, Nick's Quest and all these other ones. They pace it perfectly yeah. where just as you were getting bored of something. Yeah. It's like, bling. Yeah. Bling, 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 bling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just Ooh. like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> something changed. Yes. Yeah. And the, the little part of the back of your brain, right, Tickles. just gets that little little yeah. thing. For this one, it's really spaced apart because it's randomly generated. Like, in one game or one world, you go down, all of a sudden you get all this iron ore and then you can do all this great shit. For me, in my game, I spent an hour digging. Yeah. Or looking for tunnels and dying a lot because the slimes are all everywhere, everywhere killing you and like yeah. and I'm like, oh, <laughs> an hour. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't and I didn't get that hit and I'm like, I get it. It's really well done. You yes. can play for multiplayer. You can do servers if you love Minecraft and you want something a little different. Yeah, this is right down your alley. But dude, they gotta put more game. In these yeah, kinds of games. I mean, and it's seriously. not. I mean, and and you know, they, they, it is under active development. You know, like their mm-hmm. their their goal is. I mean, this is kind of like the new indie model, right? Is yeah. like is like this active iteration where we'll put it out kind of cheap as a beta. You guys come, tell us what's awesome, mm-hmm. tell us what you don't like, and we'll we'll kind of tune it because they've got a great mechanic. They've oh, got yeah. a very strong engine. They stole a great mechanic. <laughs> they stole a great mechanic. <laughs> yeah. They put a better like a shinier interface yeah, on yeah. it, like mm-hmm. kind of smoother interface. Yeah. Um, and then making it two D was clever because you lose a lot of creation but you gain a lot of kind of um like platform mechanics i think yeah platform mechanics and more varied uh yeah. textures and stuff because all you're doing is you're just writing a jpeg as opposed to modeling and doing all this right. other stuff right and and then they added really cool things with like you know swinging from vines oh yeah the uh, tools are awesome the tools are yeah, really yeah. cool like kind of you know being able to throw bombs and oh, yeah. I mean, like i really i really thought that that was very cool i liked a lot of the the creativity they put into into the world's interaction oh yeah and, and like it's only 10 bucks yeah so considering the price like i, I I still kind of want to recommend it. It's not for me. Like, I, I didn't... Like, I, I'm kind of done with... Like, Minecraft was great. I'm kind of done with it. Um, yeah. Once they really add a lot more game, it, it, I think I'll go back to it. Yeah. But this is kind of on the same level of Minecraft uh, beta level or alpha level okay. yeah. for me. I uh, mean, I, I, say, I, say, I say check it out. Like, I, 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 really, I really do want to support this type of del- development. Yeah. I think that one thing that I've noticed is that I want a game that is architected intentionally. Yeah, um, yeah. So this is this has been true of me even even in RPGs like there's there's some there's some RPGs that come out and they're like entirely dynamically generated dungeons <laughs> like I'm Fallout like, maybe yeah. yeah or even uh, uh, even um, wasn't Diablo two like that wasn't some of the Diablo no. two I mean well, I think those were maybe those were designed yeah they, well they were they were well they were all randomly generated yeah. but you'd be like go kill this guy right yeah yeah they had um, a purpose at the end that's yeah. true but I mean, if if it's just randomly generated. My problem is, is I don't feel like I've beaten anybody. Yeah, well, like I want a human to have designed something where I get to the end, I'm like, ta-da, D's Done. nuts. You know, yeah. it's just like that. That is somebody put something down, I beat it. Yep. It's not like computer rolled dice, and I'm just like, wow, I've kind of zigged and zagged to the yeah. end of your rolled dice. I've navigated to various hotspots or, right. or whatever the map you've developed. Yeah. And like, there's no, I mean, I understand with this one, they do put boss characters where you have to collect all of these random shit to yeah. make this eye or something like that. And you plant the eye, and then you have a big monster, and then you go kill it. Right. 
okay. they're working on it. They're, I mean, like, yeah, they're, they're heading they're in the trying, right direction. Yeah. So, so it's yeah. pretty cool, and, it, and it's, it's, a, it's a neat, it's a clever little engine. Yeah, and it's pretty solid for the level because I remember Minecraft was pretty sparse when it first did Alpha, yeah. even though it was still pretty addictive. This one is far more developed. I'd say. And I've heard that these guys have seriously been working on this for like two months. It's unbelievable. Dude, I mean, like they're doing it in X and A. Yeah. Like C sharp and like it's. I've been hearing really like, good things about X and A. Like people are saying that that if you if you want to just hop into game development mm-hmm. and just kind of get get your teeth into something, mm-hmm. get get your feet wet, um, you know you can you can check out this X and A stuff and and uh, there's a um, uh, there's a Microsoft uh, 2010 Lite uh, compiler Visual Studio, so you can That's actually right, yeah. you can actually start coding for free. There's a lot of barriers. People think that it's really expensive, but you can actually get. Visual Studio 2010 and XNA and be mm. coding video games off of tutorials online yep. mm-hmm. tonight if you guys yep. wanted to. Like, don't think like people. People <laughs> are just like, man, I want to go to college to become a yeah, become a video do, game yeah. designer. It's like, well, you're gonna have to work hard. Mm-hmm. But if you're poor, you can still make video games. Yeah, you, I shit you not. And you don't need that powerful. You can get an old laptop for a couple yeah. hundred bucks, and you can still do some of this stuff. And you just can teach yourself, right? Yeah, you just gotta be like, tenacious and smart. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, like, when we when back in the day when we were programming, like, that's all we, we could do, right? I was like, I was taking magazines and typing in basic code on my yeah. Commodore, like, way back in the day. And yeah, you and I were coding way before we were in classes for coding. It yeah. Was just, like, I was rewriting World War IV uh, BBS software. <laughs> nice. Dude, I did Telegar. That's hilarious. Yeah, I, I, I was, wow. I mean, like, I was in there getting the source code for... Changing for S and C characters. WIV and, like, seeing what happens and recompiling. Yeah. I mean, you know, get in there, get your teeth, you know, get your teeth into this shit because... It's so much more rewarding than when you and I were doing it, where we'd work Ooh. forever and nothing would happen. Yeah. And these days, you can like spend a weekend following some tutorials and make yeah. a game where it's like, I built fucking Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's done. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, like, not only that, you have all these YouTube videos, all these free yeah. websites. It's just like the number of resources out you have there to be a budding game designer. Like, we are, seriously, we're, we're in the golden age of indie oh, development. I wish I was like ten. Yeah. Oh, Hanzo's gonna. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna say Hanzo, make a game. Yeah. Hans is gonna be a ballet dancer. No, he is gonna hate programming. No! He's gonna no! hate video no, games. No, he's gonna fucking play football. That's what he's, he's gonna, gonna be do. He's gonna be a jock and ballet gonna, dancer. I'm gonna be like, I have no song. Yeah. <laughs> You're dead to me. <laughs> like all I ever wanted was for you to play the Wii with me. He's like, fuck off, dad. We're gonna go give nerds wedgies. It's like no. <laughs> Oh, that I'm going to go watch Twilight. No. Yeah, that would be terrible. Um, yeah, so uh, that is Terraria. Uh, yep. Next game up is Witcher 2. Um, I didn't get a chance to play this. I did. So uh, mm. so I got Witcher 2 on the PC. It's on Steam. It's PC only, which yeah. was shocking to me. Like, thought, in this yeah. day and age, I was just like, ah, oh, cool, it's on PC. I'm like, I'm wondering when it's coming to Xbox. And I checked, and it was like... <laughs> Windows, comma, nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, what's funny was, like, I just read today that uh, ESRB posted, like, ratings for PSN and uh, 360. Yeah. And they quickly removed them. So I don't know if they're currently Ooh. in the process or, or what. But... So that's funny because yeah. my biggest point that yeah. I would like to mention about The Witcher is I desperately wished I was playing it on a console the whole time I was playing it. Oh, dude, you just angered so many I PC know, guys I know, I'm sorry, guys. I'm oh. sorry, PC guys. Like, oh, mouse I mean, and keyboard! My, oh. whole, my whole life, I've been a mouse and keyboard guy. I still play, I still played uh, uh, Portal. I got, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I played Portal 2 right. on the on the PC. I'm down with that for yeah, FPS. StarCraft 2, I'm down. But let me tell you guys about the interface system in The <laughs> Witcher. Like, you walk into The that Witcher... Was easy. Oh my god! <laughs> you walk into The Witcher and it's just so... You're wandering around and and you get a couple of flashback vignettes and that is the tutorial. It's basically like hmm. you're in a dungeon. He's like, "Tell me what happened to you in the past." You're like, "Well, let's see. The king told me to help siege a shit." Yeah. So you're going <laughs> and okay. and he's wandering around and there'll be like this little pop up. It's like, "Hold shift and move up the radial menu to the left to get potions." But remember, you can only use potions while you're meditating. And there are these 17 types of potions. Make sure you clear your potions <laughs> before battle. And it's like it's like going through. <laughs> This is, but this is like it's like scrolling by in a little thing. I'm like, oh, that's weird. It's like I'm sure they'll give me a better tutorial than that. I'm wondering. It like fades away, <laughs> and then and then I go. I'm like, wow. I don't remember. I don't remember exactly what they said about potions. What was that? And I go to the I go to, to the options menu, yeah. and it's like controls. I'm like, okay, click controls, and it was like keyboard. Okay, and I was like, okay, but where's the key binding menu? Yeah. Where's the where's the uh, yeah. what is the keys? Mm-hmm. Wait, what? Doesn't what, what is one. what is the key what is the keyboard doesn't menu doesn't have a binding menu what? so huh? so the tutorial so, for this <laughs> game is you get a couple pop ups that you try and memorize yeah. and then after that you are hitting keys like a monkey <laughs> and then it'd be like I'd hit seven and it would be like set a trap for the enemy and I watch my mana go down and the little pop ups like mana is used with spells. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, 
I knew that! <laughs> I wish I could tell. But then I went to like my spell menu and it was like, Shibbity Sham, Flazam, Bing Bong. And it was like a picture of like an arrow with a heart and, and like an angry face. <laughs> So did it heal you? <laughs> you don't know until you push it. Like you're just like you're just like okay. Well, that made some sparklies. Was was, that, was, the, you, was there like a tooltip when you highlighted over? No it? bullshit. There's no tooltips because there's no highlighting. It's not like you're redeciding where your spells are in the thing. The screen is empty. Wait, there's no wait, shit. Wait, you're saying on your radio menu you're bringing up? You're bringing up potions, but not spells. Like wait, spells so are this whole other thing that they're already bound to keys one there, through nine. And there's of course a zero through nine with bots, yeah. like in World of Warcraft, right? Where you could- no, you just know this. And one and two is switching Wait, weapons, and then like five through nine are spells. What? what? It's, it is. It is. That's like really a, frustrating. That's like a lesson in how not design a game yes. interface. This yeah. is, re- this is ridiculous. Is, so, wow. So I was very angry at that. <laughs> but here's the thing. Yeah. This is one of the most beautiful looking, oh. fluid. Gorgeous, intelligently designed PC game. Sorry, intelligently designed in that it is <laughs> not in the evolution the, point. Yeah, guess, not, right? not in the not in the good interface or God point. Okay. It's just it's just there's this flow to it that really is very compelling. Like it's it, the world feels very fleshed oh, out. Okay. Uh, you're kind of wandering around having interesting talks with people, oh and they have immediately you start having an effect like these people are like oh we think we should send this guy into into battle in just his underwear why is that and it's like oh we've got this talisman and he like takes the talisman you're talking about it and they're like making decisions about what to do in the battle based on what you're saying the conversation is very well voice acted and then i started getting into the fighting and as long as i was just whooping up on people with a sword and yeah. rolling and doing whatever else that was kind of cool okay so but the moment you tried anything to do with the user interface yeah it just, it's wow. just and it was oh. one of those things where i was playing i'm like man if this was on Xbox, they would have to cram all these things onto like a more understandable interface. They'd have yeah. to do shoulder buttons for like swapping between spells. They'd have well, to actually show you. On they the would screen. be forced to go through the the, the exercise to say yeah. this button. Oh, like uh, somebody played that and they forgot that you have to hold this button and this button and this button and right. you do up on the analog stick and that's how you do a potion. Yeah, that doesn't work. Yeah, right. They would tell you that. Yeah. Uh, and it, it's just it's almost as if like this is designed for snobby PC players they're like I don't need fucking tutorials or <laughs> maps of where keys are or you know it's just like because it was just, it's almost as if like this game is designed where it's like console players are dummies look at this complex shit we made like not, look at how hard we can make it to not play. to piss off all of our PC gamer fans but yeah. I think that's all that's left Seriously, that plays PC games like that, that, that's like aggressively uh, well, complex. Like, well, you read their uh, comments, right? It's like you never review your PC games or blah blah blah. It's yeah. Like those guys are these holdouts that they relish the act of learning an interface to memory, right? It's just a, it's almost like a game. It's true to them, right? Where they're yeah. like, yeah, man, I I understand like this radio manual, blah blah blah, and I do a potion. It's just like, well, well, my brain got better. Right. I'm a smart person. Yeah. Right. Uh, Oh, and I guess to their po- to their point, they have a point. They yeah. like that, so it's good for them. But f- for not, it's not for me anymore. No, like I, I know that that is not. We have learned so much as game designers about how to fluidly, uh, you know, spend the first half an hour of a game just introducing somebody to the, to, mm-hmm. to the, the the mechanics, to the complexities of either that or or give them very little. And yeah. then eke it out over yep. time, where it's like, start out with no spells. I mean, yeah. I told you this. You and I were chatting online. The <laughs> yeah. analogy that I made was, say you'd never played World of Warcraft your entire life. Yep. And someone's like, you guys got to check out World of Warcraft. Here, sit down in front of my level 80 <laughs> character. <laughs> That's ex- yeah. With, with my custom UI. With my custom UI, yeah. everything's like flashing and beeping. And like, there's like these chains of spells tied oh, together. God. with. The, I mean, that is exactly... If you sit down in front of The Witcher 2, it feels like sitting in front of a level 80 <laughs> character. Except there's no icons anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Except it's harder than that. <laughs> it, is, it is less intuitive than that. Well, the thing is, with World of Warcraft, it's it's hilarious because what they do is they give you an empty spell bar. They give you an empty. They don't give you shit to do anything. All yeah. you do is spend your time target attack. Yes. And after a certain amount of time, when you master that, you they give you the first spell. spell. And like seriously, the first ten hours, they've tuned it enough so yeah. that people get it. And like even I like it, right? Like right. I used to be kind of like this PC like snob and like crazy. Like I still can get into it. And it's yeah. fun, and it's like that's how you design games. That's how uh, Super Mario Brothers. That's how Miyamoto designs his games, where they give you a new ability and then teach you how to use it. Yeah. 
And, and it's so exactly so it's, right. I mean, that, that is that is the way that you need to make games now because that's what draws in the most number of people. Yep. Um, and still be cool at and, the end. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. And Because, I mean, you know, like I said, you either – if, if you want to give everybody the mechanics up front, you get spend the first hour teaching it to them like you maybe do in, like, Dead Space or something. Yeah. And then in, in other games, yep. you give them one ability an hour for the first ten hours mm-hmm. or something. But – that's how it has to be done now. This yeah. is what we've learned. This is a. This is what we know as gamers that works. <laughs> and and not only that, with like we always ding games because they're either too slow. Yeah. Their pacing is just like shit. I had this power for two hours now. Give right. me something else. And then you have this other end. Yeah. So like it, you you gotta tune. You yes. really gotta tune to make these games. So. That so that being said, that that sounds like me shitting all over this game, yeah. and I am, but. Okay. I am not going to thumbs down it. I mean, what? Because I'm still playing. I haven't quit. I haven't Wait, quit what? in frustration. Because you can still get along with just yeah, saying because, because so far I've been doing stuff where it's like I know I'm not doing it right. I know that I could be doing it better, uh-huh. but I'll like lure one guy away and mm-hmm. kind of like whoop up on him. And I've learned one or two of the spells where like I learned that this will drop a trap, and if I run back, mm-hmm. he gets caught in, and I run up and just beat him around the head. So you're doing it by trial and error. I'm almost. doing it by trial and error. Huh. And I, I'm angry about it. I think that it should be done better, <laughs> but I can feel that in there is a uh-huh. good game, and, and they obscured it with their snobbery, <laughs> but I kind of want to <laughs> find it. Like, I'm not yeah. done. I'm not done really? playing. Like, I'm actually still, I'm actually still playing. So even so. me telling you that it's going to come to consoles, like... Because, like, the moment you told me all that shit, and, yeah. like, the fact that I hear, oh, it might come to console, I'm like, I can wait. I, don't I, I will probably today. go and do some more internet research. Okay. Like, if, if I can confirm that this is coming to console eventually, I will put down my PC copy. But here's what I'm saying. I, w- I will probably buy another copy. You know what I mean? Like, uh, like really? I'm, yeah. Well, you've already bought on Steam, so... I've already bought on Steam. I can't really like give it away or sell it. Thanks, Steam. Yeah, thanks. But uh, it is... It is really cool. Like, it's just... Oh, it's God. beautifully designed. It's very... It's a very strong engine. Because you actually... The way that you talk about it just makes it... Because, like, I'm still a little bit where I do kind of like the idea of learning an interface yeah. where it doesn't bother me as much. Mm. Um, but the way you described it is like, holy shit, it sounds like really extreme. It's really extreme. But if, I, would, I would give you my Steam login. I'm just not sure how... Yeah. Like, we, we, don't we, do that. We've talked they, about this. They really don't like it when you do that. Yeah, they're, they're kind of anal. Like, they I'd like really to give anal. you my Steam login, yes. but apparently, like, they, they're very much, like, stomp the shit out of you if they catch yeah. you. And all your games would just go poof. Yeah. You don't want that to happen. But anyhow, right. you're saying? I, I would say I would, I would like to give it to yeah, you, yeah. but... Well, the thing is, like, I think um, I'll just wait till it comes out, uh, probably on console, yeah. uh, unless like really get. It's got a itchy. 92 Metacritic, so I'm hoping that enough wow. people buy this. Yeah. That uh, well, they that have they, two patches. <laughs> yeah, they already got two, ba- two but, patches. But I'm hoping that they make enough money that they're like, shit, we could make even more money by dropping this on consoles. We got the work done already. Like, That's let's true. just get some cash to Ching. So, uh, pro- so anyway. was it CD Project? I think your guys' name is. Make it happen. Yeah, make it happen. Put it on consoles. <clears throat> um, it's it's a great game. It's just. God damn it, guys. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's 2011, yeah. guys. Come on. Work with us here. Uh, last game is a big surprise. Surprise for me. Uh, well, I, I forgot how good this game was. Yeah. And, and the thing I want to mention about this game, this is the game when I was playing Alien Noir, I was looking at my DS, and I'm like, I, I could be playing this game. Yes. Yeah, uh, so, so Ninja Bread Man. Two. <laughs> <laughs> so Chrono Trigger. It's, yes, Chrono Trigger. On the SNES game, they yeah. ported it to the DS... Uh, how many years ago? A while. Probably a while ago, yeah. Well, no, no. The DS? Well, the they DS just is... put it on the Wii Wear. Yeah, but uh, I think it's been on the DS for like only like a couple months. Is I think it? it? Okay, I, maybe I don't, it was I don't last year. I don't yeah. know. So the point is, is I went and got it for the DS because uh, I was going to be on a plane mm-hmm. uh, going to Seattle and back, and I had never played it, and I honestly wasn't going to play it because yeah. we're just like, oh, it's an old SNES game. It's coming on Wii Wear. Yeah. And then you I do, were like, like, dude, I like, played it two years ago. And it was still good. <laughs> and it was still good. So I went out and I bought it, and I played it on the plane. And I could not it's, put it down. It's really good still. <laughs> it <laughs> like, is phenomenal. For JRPGs, for how much shit we give JRPGs, yeah. this doesn't do what all those other JRPGs do, right? Yeah, and it, it aggressively doesn't do that. Like, no. it, it is, it's this... I, I, I'm constantly <laughs> flabbergasted because I know that they did this 800 years ago. Yeah, like, this much. was SNES. This was, this was Super No Friendo, like, way, <laughs> way back in the day. Yeah. And... The, they had already learned enough JRPG conventions to fuck with them at oh, every turn. Oh, God, yeah. And it boggles my mind that people didn't look at Chrono, Chrono Trigger and just say, like, well, this is the new shit. This is how we got to make all the games. Because yeah. they kept on making all the old style games. Right. They, um, yeah, they should have looked at this and they'd be like, this just made us look silly. Kind yeah. of like, you know, like, the, the way glam bands looked at, like, Nirvana, and they're like, we just got made look foolish, and yes. they just killed 80s music, where it's just like, people should have looked at this, and they're like, we can't do uh, random battles anymore. We mm-hmm. can't do 
Sorry, invisible random battles. Yes, invisible, yeah. You know, we can't do uh, uh, never being able to save. You know, we mm-hmm. can't do... So all these things, it's like everything that I've ever complained about in JRPGs, they fix in this one. I shit you not, like everything. Like every time you're out on the world map, you can save at any time. Yep. There's no like buying a tent or any of that bullshit. Right. Uh, the battles are actually really like strategic and real time. And dynamic. And they dynamic, move. Yeah. It's crazy because like well, the whole thing that like boggled my mind was just like oh okay I'm I'm here it's like where's my thing where I'm looking at their backs and I see three guys and I have to go yeah. run up and whoom, yeah right no no I'm still playing the game there's no switch to another screen monsters just pop up yeah they 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 pop up there's no transition there's no there's none of that it's just like you walk up a couple monsters come down the screen and you get these you've got different effects like you've got some spells that shoot in a line mm-hmm. and some spells that are area of effect yep. and the enemies will be moving around it's all timing it's all timing so you actually wait until three dudes are in a circle and you're like boom yeah jump out there the cyclone girl cast bitch. the cycle yeah the fucking <laughs> what is it called cyclone I think a cyclone or cyc- something like. yeah like some sort of fire cyclone yeah. where she casts a spell and you you spin around your blade 200 <laughs> points of damage everybody's dead and you're just yeah, like doing right. a little you're like right. teabagging yep. teabagging the little monster faces <laughs> that yeah. is yes. That will always be my Battles. victory song. That's true. Final Fantasy Seven. Uh, but you know, like the battle system is really good. But the thing that also boggled my mind is that the story is super compelling and hilarious. Yeah, like really well written, very very compelling. Like, and it, it, so it's 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 like a Wizards and Warriors like <laughs> old school RPG. I'm yeah. not gonna spoil too much plot, a little bit of plot. Yeah. But I mean, the point is, is you're popping around in time. Yeah, and then boom, they're like, oh, by the way post-apocalyptic future robot wasteland, you're like, huh, what? You did not. <laughs> yeah. No fucking way. Yep. Because, you know, you just expect, like, slime, or yep. dragon, blah, blah, no. No. They drew Wrong. entirely new sprites for an entirely new thing, and yeah. it's just like, the, the amount of work that must have gone into this game, you, yeah. like, seriously, it's like a work of art. Mm. From, a J, from a JRPG standpoint, there are few games, like, I know you'll say Final Fantasy VII, but, like, you look yeah. at this of, of the original classic-style games, very few match this level quality. Almost none. Um, because the thing is, is they they keep switching. They'll they'll, they'll do the top down stuff, then they'll do the side to side stuff where yep. you're wandering, and they'll be they'll be like even side to side bosses where you run up and there'll be a dragon tank, and you have to <laughs> attack different parts of the dragon tank, and he's rolling back and forth, and you know you're 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 uh, you know kind of balancing how you do your attacks. Mm-hmm. I am, I, and oh oh. <laughs> thing that wait, killed wait, wait. me. Thing that killed me. <laughs> Did, th- there's this part where you get stuck in a in a prison. Okay, I've got that far. So you get stuck in a prison and and you try and open this door because there's a treasure chest inside. Yeah, yeah. And this is this is when like when I when this <laughs> happened, I was just like, I'm gonna beat this game now because wow. I have so much respect for what you guys just did. Though, so there's a treasure chest and there's a switch on the wall, and you're like, okay, you pull the switch and the door goes up halfway. Yeah. You're like. Hmm. There's gotta be another switch somewhere. I wandered around, I'm touching yeah. everything, pulling every, pulling on 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 mm-hmm. torches in the walls. Nothing, and like I do this for five minutes. I'm like, fuck. Huh. So I gave up, and I wandered around, wandered around. Half an hour later, there's another room with a hole in the wall, okay. and I can get into it. Okay. And you go inside. Suddenly, you're outside the castle, and okay. you can climb down the wall. Like it suddenly becomes this like puzzly. <laughs> you are like it's like hacking you the just, game. You just broke my brain. I way. know. <laughs> So then, what? Then you go to the other. You climb all the way back down to where that other room was, and you can go in the hole and get the treasure chest Fuck. that you saw half that an hour ago. That is so delayed. Like that I is no. Oh, and I I'm know. sorry that that's a spoiler. I know that that's a spoiler, but oh. that just that you guys need to understand that that is the kind of that is the bar. That is the game that they're playing here. They don't do that anymore. No. They really because it's one of those things where it's like you know you watch TV shows and like like Arrested Development, right? Mm. There will have like these payoffs for a joke where they'll have one episode they'll do something random yeah. and if you remember it in your brain three episodes later you're like holy shit yeah. like that was the setup <laughs> what you guys are playing a long game <laughs> yes yeah um, and, it, and I think it's a, like it's a testament to the quality of, of the designer that true like real gamers are really going to get into that absolutely right? like so that's, that's because, awesome because you you, you, re- you recognize the craft yeah you see that's that. exactly it. you really do yeah. because you see that and you're like Oh shit! <laughs> you know shit. Yeah. You did not do that. Yeah, and, in any I'm game where I'm sitting there playing it, where I just like I like put the DS down. I'm like mother, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> so you didn't do that in the in the airplane. That'd actually be pretty good. That w- I, pr- I actually I think I did a couple times. Oh really? I was just like, like sitting there on the plane. You're playing and like something happens. You're like, did you guys <laughs> fucking see this shit? You like tap it on the shoulder. You're like, it's like, did you see this shit? You're this business guy, and you're like, you're a grown man playing a DS. What? What's like, the matter with I'm you? I'm an air marshal, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch me. Oh, oh shit. Our, 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 our timer's, our timer's out. out. I guess we got to end the show. 
Sorry, guys. Sorry, I think that's we're done. the end of the show forever. No, yeah, fuck it's that. It's the last show. There's fuck no it. time limits. There's no time limits on the last episode. That's right. We're doing um, it for you. We are you going guys. further. Yeah, fuck that timer thing. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so, so Chrono Trigger. Oh, my God, guys. Get it on oh, the shit. get on the Wii. Get on the DS. Go pull out your Super Nofrendo. Play yep. on that. Like, It's pretty good. Oh, my God. Like, it's so good. Like, I was surprised. I was pl- like, I remember I told you about it. I'm like, yeah, you know, I remember it being really good. Yeah. And then when I started playing it, I'm like, man. You're like, no, no, is- no. This it's, is really good. <laughs> yeah. And it still holds up. And I think that's kind of the, the, the awesomeness about it. This is a fucking SNES game. How many JRPGs can you play now that hold up? <laughs> Chrono Trigger. It's, it's pretty <laughs> much... It's pretty much, much like, that's the answer that, to that question. That, that's actually... Yeah. yeah. So I'm, and uh, I do want to try the sequel. Uh, Chrono Cross, yeah. right? So I think it might have been PS1. Somebody will correct me, I'm sure. But yeah. Chrono Cross was, was later. Um, what, what kind of scares me about this is that so many people you know, talk about this game as being one of their, their favorite games. Yeah. A lot of people also say Mother 3... <laughs> Right? I knew you were going so, there. I'm just saying, it's like... Maybe, maybe we were maybe, wrong. Maybe, well, it's not where we were wrong. We are just like, yeah, whatever. Like, right. maybe we should. Maybe we should. I know. Because so, because now I've been sold on, like... Because I always think, I'm like, ah, uh, you know, I know what's going to happen is I'm going to play for half an hour. I'm going to get bored because it's got all the old conventions, blah, yeah. blah. But it's just like, well... Maybe not. I, I'm just saying, like, you think about Chrono Trigger and the, the, the sort of esteem and the, the yeah. bar, like... Mother 3 has the same thing. The same bar yeah, for a lot true. of things, so... It's true. I think we should probably try I it. I think we should probably try it, but yeah. we can't review it on the show, so... Mm. But... And I can't play it on my cross-country trip, because that's going to be me driving for 80 <laughs> hours. <laughs> well, it's funny. you got to pick up a hitchhiker, pay yeah. five bucks, and then just, like, You're like, make sure they don't kill you. Tell you what, dude, we're on Route 80. <laughs> Drive that way for 1,700 miles, I'm going to be playing Chrono Trigger. 1,700 miles? Step seven oh, on my on my printout map of my drive cross country says get on Route eighty. Oh, what states does it go through? Continue for seventeen hundred and fifty miles. It goes is it the, like middle or it goes top? California, Utah, Nebraska. You know, like it, it's just like gah, 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 fucking Midwest, like oh. Ohio, Illinois. Do you do you get do you drive past the biggest ball of twine? I would not be surprised. Okay, you should stop. By. I will twit twick twit twick all twit-twick. of your things, man. Yeah, we, need like, to, we need to get bored. <laughs> so bored. <laughs> Playing Chrono Trigger by the biggest wall of twine, that would be awesome. <laughs> Me driving, you see the speedometer at 120, and I'm holding a DS. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a picture with your with your yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, No hand on the wheel. No hand on the wheel. You got your knees? That's good. Yeah, that's true. You just got your knees. That's true. All right, it's so... A long drive. So we're going to talk about uh, new releases. We're not going to talk about the ones that come out this week because there ain't sh- there's seriously there's shit. The rest nothing uh, coming out. Yeah, the next actually I think it was like the next two weeks. Uh, we're basically pretty much pretty yeah. much all dead. So um, just some of the stuff that you can expect over the next month with yeah. uh, no new to be around. Uh, Hunted Demon Forge. Um, I heard the interesting things about it. Yeah, but eh. I actually haven't heard anything about it. Yeah, so I don't, I don't yeah. Well, we'll next, next, <laughs> I don't know what to say yeah, about I don't know either. Um, but this one I am genuinely and truly excited for. Yes. Infamous 2. Yeah, so we played it at PAX. Uh, was it PAX? Yeah, PAX, right? Yeah, right. so we played it at PAX, and dude, like, they really amped up the, the, the events, the weather, yeah. like, all the powers. It's, the, it's the, good. The, uh, the sliding on the power lines was really nice. Like, all of his yeah. all of his uh, his power abilities in Infamous felt really good. I mean, like, yeah. we both loved the shit out of Infamous 1. That was oh, a yeah. great game. So I, I just hope they did. And the Sucker, sucker Punch, right? I think it's Maybe. Punch. But, uh, they're, like, they're known for quality, polish, and all this other stuff. Yeah. So um, I think it's going to be awesome. And the cool thing is, I don't know if you guys know this, I was telling you about this before, yeah. uh, because of the PSN being down for six months, Oh yeah! they have said, hey guys, we're going to give you, uh, you get to pick, I think it's two of any of these ten games, and they have a list, and I was looking at the list, and one of the list is Infamous. So oh. if you haven't played Infamous, <laughs> go play Infamous. Like, yes, because you get a free copy now, for the most yeah. part. I think it's... I think it's the thirty first. I think the thirty first. They're they're bringing they're bringing the, the network the back online. Back? Well, the yeah. network is back for sorry some people. the store. The store, yeah. So I think the, the store, store comes back online the thirty first. That's when they're going to give you guys your free game. Uh, so get Infamous for free if you haven't played it yet. If you yeah. have a PS three, you're was, crazy. Was there any other uh, good game out of that list? There was a couple games on that list, and I think that I I skimmed it, and the only thing that jumped out at me was Infamous. Oof, okay. Um, the eh. rest were like, eh. or or you know, what? honestly, that some of the um, other ones could have been good, and I just. Well, I already have Infamous too. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. So, well, so go, go check it out. Uh, it's going to be in a week. Uh, that one's coming out on uh, June fifth. Yeah. And, I am uh, super super pumped to check that out. Vin- I will actually be on the road. Oh. Really? When this when this comes out, I will be driving. I am a little annoyed. It's coming out the day after Memorial Day. Seriously, I have a three day weekend. Yeah. My uh, mother in law's coming, so at least you know I can get a little free time here and there. Yeah. I think. Um, that the, I think. I think this date's wrong. I, I think it actually probably comes out on the seventh because that's a Tuesday. I think you're right. Yeah. Um. But. 
Either way, yeah, it's right after Memorial Day. Everybody's got their families in town, whatever. That's so. right. But so, anyway, get uh, it. Yes, check it out. The next one... Uh, they give you a preview. It's going to be good. <laughs> Two thumbs up. Um, um, the next one, apparently, people say this yeah. game will be out on June 14th. Yes. Um, I, it, I have it, high confidence. It, the, the development time of this game was longer than World War II. I think it was longer than most... Some of you may have been alive. That's probably true. Um, uh, so it's Duke Nukem Forever. Yeah. So the one thing that we can say is that you and I have both played it. Yes. It is. It is. It is definitely. It exists. Um, yes, and it's hilarious. And it's hilarious. And this week, uh, actually, yesterday or the day before, they uh, announced two that days they ago. went two days ago. They yeah. they said they went gold. So they have sent some data of something <laughs> to somebody to be printed on discs and yes. mailed out to people. There may be a day of patch, but it will be released. Yes, and you will play it. So um, I'm excited. I mean, I've been seeing a lot of some of the videos and some of the other uh, trailers and stuff. It looks. It's looking like what we played. Yeah. If it's more of it, I'm. I'm I'm happy. I'm not. It's not going to be like the best first-person shooter of the year. No, but it'll be it'll, it'll be, be the be... best nostalgia hit you've yes. had for a long time because it... they don't make games like this anymore. Like there, there's too much political correctness. There's yep. too much fear of losing sales by doing things like capture the flag with a woman where you're spanking her ass. Like it's pretty hilarious. It's hilarious. <laughs> if you've got a sense of humor, all this stuff is funny. Drawn on walls with poop. Yeah, like, well, no, taking poop and, sh- and, and throwing it. And like, throwing seriously, people, like, how many like, games can do that? Yeah, you just you just got to take a step back and then just kind of remember that, like, <laughs> there were games like this, like Postal, yeah. another thing that, that were there to just push people's buttons. Yeah. And I enjoy that. I think well, that's really funny. Well, Solaris is just like, like it, it, this game's going to take me back to being, like, 15, yes. playing the, maybe it was 15, being playing the original. I don't know. It was, it like, was a while It was ago. a while back where it was just like, it was perfect yeah. for my age. Yeah. And I'm going to be able to regress, yeah. be a teenager again. And it's just like, that's that's what I'm get, hoping to get out of this game. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. Mentally, I'm not much <laughs> over 15. <laughs> like, I may be around 17. Maybe. I mean... Maybe. Some some guy, you know, like one of my buddies said he had jury duty, and I was like, uh... <laughs> Duty. <laughs> okay, I, I'm 16. Excited. I'm 16, super, yes. super, super excited for Duke Nukem. Yes. So I will be getting that on launch day. Uh, the next game I am really excited about because it will allow me to, to finally use my Connect again. It's been a while. Yeah. Uh, but that, Child of Eden. It's that weird... Uh, it's the, the res. Gameplay? It's, it's res, like res. That's right. It's res. So it's like res, yeah. except you can use your body. I think it's also available on the move and probably Wii or something yeah. like that. But um, yeah, I'm really excited because it looks awesome. So it's going it to be. Great. It's going to be. If you guys played res back in the day, it's like music, pulsing beats, kind of uh, really trippy like graphics. Psychedelic. Yeah. If you're then, into drugs, maybe. Yeah. Um, um, so res back in the day was kind of a shooter. Like you're shooting yeah. down the line at stuff. This kind of looks a little bit more like kind of like shooting. using maybe two hands to do various things. Yeah. And one of the things about res, and I don't know if they're going to do it with this one, it's notorious for having a special accessory. The vibrating, the vibrating accessory, accessory on, the, yes. on the thing where you actually plug it in and all it does is vibrate. So mm. um, I, I've heard rumors that... Uh, ladies like it. Ladies like it. Uh, and there's yeah. a review actually of it from a lady. But um, that they may build a special... A special vest of some sort where you can put controllers in. What the fuck? And then you'll have four controllers and connect, and they'll. Because yeah. uh, there's four players, right? right. So they'll all vibrate at. I saw, I've been hearing rumors, man. Like, seriously, that's you can hilarious. You just masturbate, for crying out loud. <laughs> How many tools do you need to, to, to four. get. Four! Yeah. But anyhow. Uh, uh, so, yeah, the definitely, definitely. Um, I'm excited about Child of Eden, too. And then the last one up is Alice Madness Returns. Is this yeah. by American McGee? Yeah, so it's American McGee. He's returning yeah. back to... Did you play the, uh, the old I uh, Alice? Uh, I, I, I kind of liked it. It was I good. Too. It was like a platform puzzle fight... Uh, uh, what is it? A blaster yeah. style game, right? It was, it was, it was um, all right. It was, it was, it was, uh, it was very yeah. cool visually. The gameplay was just kind of eh. Yeah. But it was, it was very creative. Yeah. And, like, the art design was probably the best thing about it. Um, yeah. And apparently this guy, you know, Merrick McGee went to China and, like, hired, a, like, 5,000 developers and just threw them all at this. And nice. I don't know. It's supposed to be pretty pretty. Cool. So we'll see. I will definitely check that out. All right. So uh, we just want to co- before we go to our Collins, we just want to cover a, a few things about uh, being the last episode. This, yeah. There's topics to cover. This, yes. Since this is the last episode ever.